hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so some of you guys have uh, um, you know uh, you guys have reached out to me regarding script and template and how basically we can get started with that so i thought let's just have uh, you know one video on uh, on scraping and uh, where you know we can just go over what is scraping and how we can basically get started with it so uh, what is scraping right scraping is basically um, a templating language which was introduced with site code 9.3 so which was basically uh, you know a replacement uh, for uh, n velocity which was used prior to you know prior to <coughs> 9.3 uh, till 9.2 so um, if you have used um, uh, you know if you have used rendering variants so sx basically has uh, you know different out of box controls and different out of box controls has you know some of the controls supports rendering variants as well and so for uh, for some of you guys who don't know what is rendering variant basically rendering variant is an option and is an um, is a way for you guys you know to basically present your component in a different way right so uh, when we create a rendering variant right so what basically we do with it like uh, you know we have an uh, we have an option and flexibility to basically control the markup of our component uh, you know by via different side core items and each item basically you know um, rhythm uh, basically each element uh, each item there basically you know it holds um, each element and each element can have you know different tag associated with that so what we can do is we can you know we can define our uh, uh, structure you know using rendering variants and you know however basically uh, we want to uh, design it we can do that and we can have different rendering variants for the same component <coughs> provided it supports rendering variant so uh, you know this process is tedious you know which means basically we have to go uh, you know to uh, to the rendering variant section and then uh, you know we have to create uh, you know different levels of, you know of uh, of variant fields you know if let's say if you have different uh, elements over there you know and the data model has you know different uh, uh, you know different properties there so you need to have different uh, you need to create basically create different uh, um, um, you know variant fields for that <coughs> so instead of doing all that what we can do is we can just create one uh, uh, you know a side code 9.3 has to do the concept of scraping so what we can do with this is instead of creating all those different fields we can just create one scraping you know um, field and that field basically that <coughs> that render basically has uh, a field called template and there basically we can put all over you know that basically it's a um, you know um, uh, you know it's a template you can basically def uh, you know define your complete uh, markup there and then you can have some placeholders where you can you know inject your dynamic values there so um, let's just see you know all this into action and uh, just to give you a you know uh, a more real time experience what we are going to do is let's just create one simple component and we will create this simple component using rendering variant uh, you know the typical approach however um, you know how we basically we used to do that before and um, the same component we will try to do with um, scraping so basically that will give you an you know indication how you know uh, how easy it is to to switch from um, rendering variant um, to uh, to scraping right so before that before anything else let's just create a new page so let me just call this as an page and let's call it as scraping test okay and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add um, a brand new component here which is nothing but our um, promo for example because that's what I have already set up um, as a markup so what I'll do is uh, yes I'm going to set up a feature an experience accelerator and then I can just go to uh, my content and then I can find this promo let's just give a placeholder name here select and then just give it a placeholder and uh, sign a data source I already have a data source created for that so I can what I can do is you know you have two options either you can select your data source from your current site or from the shared site because this uh, instance supports concept of shared site as well but let's just go um to promo one click on ok and then click ok ok and we are just good there ok so ok one thing one second let me just do one more thing quick thing is script and test go to publish 
experience accelerator so what we have done so far is um, we have um, configured one promo component which is an out of the box SXA component and we have just assigned one data source to it right but how exactly that component is gonna look right so that basically is controlled via rendering variant and if you if I go back to site core go to presentation and if you go back to uh, our rendering variants if you go and if you scroll down we have this promo right so we have different um, rendering variants available we have default we have full promo and we have promo variant one so this is something which comes by default like we have promo icon then you know we have a section we have promo body then we have promo text promo link and this is something which I have created um, for this demo so we have you know different sections created here like uh, promo top promo fields and you know each section has different set of uh, you know fields assigned to that so what uh, let me just do something okay let me just do it quickly here Great. So <coughs> if I just click on this one, right, you see like we have this variant um, uh, field here. Like, so we have different variants here. Like we have default, which is the current uh, one. Like then we have full promo, then we have promo variant, and then we have default, right? So let's just select the promo one. So if you don't select anything, it basically fall back to the default one. Let's just go to promo variant one, right? And then you see like um, it has a, you know uh, a different UI. Like we have. Um, promo text then we have an image coming here then we have few more texts coming here and then we have a you know CTA link right so how you know how the UI got changed it's just because like we have different uh, rendering variant created for this promo component so let me just quickly go and save and right so if so this is what you know uh, the HTML we have right and then um, what I've done um, already is I have taken the the marker for this component, right? Uh, the HTML marker for this particular promo component, which has uh, which uh, which is something which is coming from rent promo rendering variant promo variant one uh, rendering variant definition, right? So if I go there, like you can basically see here, this is the markup which I have for that particular field, right? So we have. Um, this HTML like we have promo text one, then we have an image, then we have text two and text three coming in, and then we have a CTA link, right? So this is the markup which we have for this particular component, and this is uh, coming via you know your ending variant which you just created here, like your promo variant one. So now what we have to do is uh, let's just you know. Um, talk about Scriben now right Scriben is again uh, is then you know again a ren um, additional render which is added um, to your uh, to a list here so what we'll do let's just create a new definition and let's call it as uh, maybe Scriben Scriben variant okay then we have so if you click on this one right click insert so you have different options here right so you have your field your date you know your model placeholder response image and all those things in addition to that you also have your script in here right so instead of doing all any of these uh, you know uh, variant fields you can just click on script in when you click that you just um, I'm just going to define something uh, script and field right and now <coughs> you know uh, we have few fields say like we have tag we have template and then we have CS class data attributes you can define you can also have some rules uh, you know based on which you want basically you want to um, check if these rules are meant then only you you execute your you know templates so all those things you can do here right and then you can also have your tag um, defined here so what I'm going to do is and, and yeah and this is you know something which is important here so what basically we have to do is we can define your um, you know you can write your ma you know complete HTML markup um, in any of your you know um, um, uh, you know uh, f uh, f formatters whatever we want to use and then you basically co paste it here and then uh, you select you know this variant scribbin variant in addition you know uh, instead of selecting any other variant there in your experience editor and then basically we go from there so that's it like we don't have to basically create all those things so in if you see here a promo variant one we have to create you know two sections and then you have to specify all these variant fields you know of different types and then we have a promo link so we have done we, we have created different items here and each items belongs to 
to a different you know um, um, element type there but instead of doing all these things we can we just have you know script one field created one uh, item created here with which of which is of type screaming type and then you uh, follow your template so here if you see like we we have this template right and um, basically script provides you know different um, um, embedded objects it provide you know embedded items and then you know several item extension is provide so what we can do here is we basically we have this um, markup and then wherever your dynamic value is coming from your data model you basically replace that value from you know from uh, so you have the static text and you just replace the static text with the with your um, dynamic data which is coming from your model right so here what we can do is what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write so this is again you know <coughs> Um, an extension uh, provided by um, Scribbin uh, for Visual Studio Code. So what I can do is I can just write i item i underscore item dot promo text and promo text is nothing but your you know um, your model name there. Then we have this image, right? So instead of doing all that, what we can do is we can just uh, sure, right? So what I can do. I can just do I underscore item dot um, our promo icon right so we have this promo icon then we have this promo text right so let's just do I underscore item dot promo text 2 and then you have same for your promo text 3 as well here so I have I underscore item dot promo text 3 right and then finally we have this link so let's just replace this as well uh, with an script and equivalent so we have i underscore item dot promo link right so we have all these things you know we are good right let's just copy this uh, marker from here go back to template which is a multi line multi text field and just put it here just save your changes and you should be good right so next just go here and select this so now you will find we have uh, um, in addition to your promo variant and another variant which are available we also have a script variant here so if i just click on script variant you see like we have the same markup available here right so it doesn't make any difference at all right so you know that's the beauty of it like instead of doing you know all these different things and you know writing an equivalent uh, for every HTML element what you have you just have your uh, um, template here define you know change it um, with uh, you know with whatever value you want to change it and then basically you go from there and in addition to that if you want to have a specific you know you want to tag this uh, markup with a specific tag you can always do that like how basically you used to do with your very uh, fields before and similarly you also have your rules you have your data attributes and CSS classes same like how we were doing it uh, before right so you know uh, this is what it takes basically to switch from your typical rendering variant to scriptin and uh, you know it's uh, and uh, in addition to that um, it's not you know and it's also not like that you can if you are switching from your typical rendering variant um, uh, you know just how basically we used to set up this markup in, in this way to scrape in like you can always go for scrape in like in addition to that if you let's say if you want to have your additional some more you know elements type if you want to define there by just simple you know variant field you can always do that so your variant can be a combination of your you know scrape in template as well as you know other fields so you can do that always so um, you know um, if you're still using um, um, uh, you know if you're still using this old way of uh, you know structuring your HTML elements there is no harm you know in that but uh, if you see an opportunity to switch from you know uh, this you know uh, this kind of structure to Scriben uh, it is always recommended to you know to go for it right and uh, as I was talking about like uh, we have you know different embedded items if you if you go to doc.psycho.com from uh, for Scriben templates uh, you know and if you look for that you have different embedded items like you know i home i item this is what we use like you can also go for um, i data source you know if you want to check if your uh, you know current item has any data source or not so those kind of things basically you can check uh, with embedded items then you have embedded different objects as well you also have you know different functions like um, uh, you know different functions you can leverage here uh, with scribbin 
right you can basically you know go uh, you can basically take a look and see what different play, uh, functions we have then uh, we also have some uh, item extension which you can use if you want to check uh, you know get a list of you know children for your current item i item which is basically which returns your current item so if you want to check if your current item has any child you know child items you can you can check this item properties you if you want to check take a display name you can do that you, you have an id and children has children if you want to check if it has children or not so there are different things basically you know you can check with these uh, um, item and field extensions so i think you know um, definitely you should give it a try and you know try to basically um, leverage any new um, uh, component which you are um, uh, you know uh, creating and building in script uh, in SXA so try to do it with script and way and um, you know mostly uh, you'll find everything uh, you know whatever your project support you can find it with script but let's say if you there is something which, you know which is very specific to a project requirement and you don't find it you know which is part of your you know uh, out of the box uh, um, uh, you know which is present out of the box with screen then you can always go and you know extend it so there are uh, different ways we can extend it uh, use script templates you can create your own so those kind of things you can do which we can you know uh, definitely check on as part of our um, uh, later videos so this is what I ju uh, just wanted to cover as part of um, today's um, uh, video I hope you liked it and thanks thanks for watching and have a great day